Fresh off the back of last week's victory against Barnstable, Exeter University welcomed expected title challengers Red Ruth to Topsham. The visitors opened the scoring with a Fraser Honey penalty, but Exeter would soon hit the front. With scrum half Tom Cairns finding Lucas Durrell on his inside to race in under the posts after a strong carry from Wilder Bomber. It had been a lively opening to the game and, whilst Red Ruth were initially held up by Exeter, they weren't to be denied a second score, as Jack King eventually found a way over. Honey, though, was unable to convert, as Ken successfully charged down the conversion keep the gap at a point. Exeter was straight back on the attack and, whilst they were unable to convert here, it wasn't long until they would hit the front again. Fly half Josh Barsard had been pulling the strings for his side against Barnstable the week before and he was on hand here to intercept, step and race away to see his side hit the front once again. The thrilling contest would continue though, as Red Ruth hit back, Will Truen collecting a chip through to score. To see his side go back into a one point lead. The students though would respond again and again, it was all coming from scrum half Cairns. After Ed Holroyd had made the carry, the scrum half again picked, darted, and weaved his way up to five metres out from the line, with Barson popping the ball wide to captain Ollie Leatherbarrow to go over for his first of the match. There was still enough time though for one last twist in the first half, with Red Ruthering Carl Bradley ensuring his side would lead going into the interval. Into the second half, an extra looked to get speeds to Kofi Bars and Byfield some early space to work. He was forced into touch, but it wouldn't be long until they were back in front. It was his fellow wing Benji Jocelyn who did the damage, weaving through the defence and eventually offloading to fullback Max Bliss, who cantered in for the score. Exeter had the momentum now, and soon they would go two tries ahead. Again, it was Cairns with the assist, darting through and popping off to his captain to go over for his second try of the game. Redruth again looked to respond, using their pack up front. But not for the first time in the match, they'd be held up over the line by some heroic last-ditch defence. From the restart, though, Leatherbarrow blotted his copybook with a body check that earned the captain 10 minutes on the sideline. And the visitors would take full advantage, with a bobbling ball eventually working its way out to Dean Bonds, who was able to cross the whitewash and reduce the gap again. Back up to the full complement though, and Exeter would put the game beyond doubt with a stunning score. It was the back row who made it, with Leatherbarrow and replacement Todd Muir doing the damage, before Durrell released Barton Byfield to race over in the corner.
Despite the entertainment, Exeter would finish to match a player down, with Harvey Dunn shown a red card. So I've got no option there in regards to that one. Um, what were the two numbers I need to speak to? In the final moments, and with Redruth looking for a second losing bonus point, Durrell rose highest to pinch the ball, earning a statement victory for the students, ahead of a visit to fellow university side Loughborough next week. <laughs>